So the recruiting process for you, what has that been like and what parts of it, I guess, kind of made sure that ICC ended up being the final choice? Uh, for me was, you know, I was looking at a couple other places, but I, I wasn't like so drawn, like so drawn to them. And then when I came on a visit, I just, the thing, what really got me was how well everybody gets along with each other. It feels like a family. And I'm like, okay, I like this. Like, that's like stuff that I like look at, like how well they get along and interact with each other. And I really like Coach Redeker a lot. She's re seems really great. So, yeah. Obviously, no team can click just as soon as they arrive on campus yeah. in the fall. Is that a challenge you almost look forward to in terms of getting to connect with the new teammates and hopefully building that team chemistry as the season goes along? Yeah, I do look forward to that. So, pretty much. <laughs> what do you think will be the hardest part of transitioning from the high school to the college game? Because I'm sure playing in a I think I would say fairly tough from a neutral perspective. You might even have a better angle on it, obviously, but Western Big Six Conference. So what do you think might be the hardest part of transitioning from high school to college basketball, though? Um, uh, I would say maybe for me, it's like the position I play, I feel like I'm kind of undersized for that, like at the college level, because I'm going from probably being the biggest in my position to being the smallest. So that might be a little bit of a challenge, but I'm looking forward to, to, to it, so. And then. The pandemic, oh, go ahead. Um, other than that, I'm not, I'm not really sure, but if anything, I'm ready to handle anything at this point, so. Well, that's good to hear. Uh, the pandemic has obviously limited a lot of us. You know, we, you talked about it real lightly anyway. What kind of ways have you tried to get through this, both from an academic perspective, but then um, for basketball as well? Well, like for like academic wise, it was a little weird, like having to do like your work at home. And like, it's not like, it's not like a whole lot of work, but sometimes it's confusing when you can't really have someone like to right there to like ask questions. You have to like wait to email your teachers and stuff and then we get back to you. And for like the sports perspective, um, I usually like play softball in the spring so like that season was gone so now me and my dad have just been kind of like like there's like this school and they're like uh there's school by our house and they have like hoops up so we just like go and like do some workouts and stuff and so I can stay in shape and keep going. What would be your message to the fans the program at Moline that have supported you through this time as you get ready to jump into college basketball here in the fall, hopefully? My message, I would probably, <sighs> I've made it known, but like, I'd like to thank them for like everything and like being supportive and like, yeah, there, there may have been some doubt for like us like a little bit, but people kept through and the past four years have been great and never had any problems with that. So. What part of eventually barring coming back on some unusual timeline, what part of coming on campus in East Peoria are you looking forward to the most, that college experience in general? What, what part of it are you looking forward to the most? Um, probably getting to know like new people because I've been around the same people pretty much. So that's always fun to meet new people. Talking about our fan base, what they might end up seeing from you. I know that picture that the team put out there when you signed, I can tell you're very passionate about the yeah. game. How, yeah. by the way, that's probably one of my favorite sports picks, just the, you can see just how much you love playing the game. So that being said, what would you tell our fan base in terms of what you think you can bring to the program as a player and perhaps as a person as well, if you want to elaborate on that too. Probably for like a player, like my big thing is I've always tried to like bring energy. Like I've always kind of like been like the spark plug for my team. Like, okay, like we get going, like we need to keep, we need to keep the energy high and like try to stay positive. Like it doesn't matter like if you're like down by like 
20 up by 20 all energy I feel like just needs to stay raised and stay consistent so yeah that's kind of like my mind what my mindset has been like the past few years there's obviously going to be a lot of presence in the post both with returning players and what we got coming in does that almost fuel you to be an even better player than you already are that competition to want to get the role that you want or are you just kind of I'll do, I'll give it my 110% and whatever role comes to me, comes to me. How, how do you try to battle that? I guess what I, is what I'm trying to say. I was like, thought about it. like definitely like I try to want to like work as hard as I can to like play the position that like I want to play, but I'm like, I feel like I could like, if they need me to do something else, like I could adapt, like I can adapt to like anything else. Like, okay. Like something new, we're going to work hard at this and like see how well I can get at that. So 